Do you ever just say to yourself, I need a getaway, an oasis. I need to go on a retreat. <laughs> Crack myself up with my lead-ins. How about we go for a tour together of this retreat? I have never been in it. I didn't even know it was in the showroom. Just walked over here and I'm like, holy cow. So this is the 39 CLDL. This is, in case you didn't know, a destination camper or also called a park model. So it's designed to be taken to wherever you want to leave it and leave it there. It'll go down the road, but you don't want to take it every weekend just won't work that way uh, so if you've got lakefront property you've got property anywhere you want to put it on if you have a permanent spot at a campground and you want literally everything to feel like home but not be home bam so let's check this out together like I said I have not been in this absolutely beautiful I'm seeing two stories I'm seeing a massive powered awning with LED lights tons of windows so I'm gonna imagine it's light and airy in here let's go in we'll start at the front sliding glass doors another big hint that it's a destination campers when you get these sliding glass doors check out these stairs all right let's go up here first again I haven't been in here so we're not gonna get into specs I'm literally giving you my impression as we go through here so we've got a bedroom I'm assuming it's the master bedroom king size bed massive storage uh drawers you've got uh nightstands on both sides so cell phone chargers cpap machine whatever you need reading lights you have a big closet over here actually a massive closet storage up above hanging space storage down below pan around without making anybody sick absolutely beautiful bedroom tons of windows but as you notice you do have blackout shades so you can sleep in so let's go back out here let's go up the stairs all right so we have a huge loft ac up here so nobody is going to die of heat we have uh your own lights up here so you don't have to climb up and down to turn off the lights. LCD uh, TV mount is what I'm trying to say. Power up here, USB as well as regular. And it looks like it's made out for three beds right now. I am six foot tall. I'm up here. I have no problem up here. You could fit adults up here to sleep if you wanted. And check out this view for the kids. I mean, I'm an adult and this is cool. And we have another one on the other side. All right. So let's go down here. We're gonna check out the kitchen. Down we go, massive kitchen. So we talk about all the feels of home. We have our residential sized fridge freezer in here that has the lock on it. So I'm not gonna open it for you cause it's gonna take me forever. Uh, that locks on there for traveling or I guess you could put it on there if you don't want to snack in the middle of the night because you don't want to fumble with this thing cause it is a pain in the butt. Oh, here, let's just do it together. Why not? I forget the name of those videos. ASMR. I should have not talked and you guys could have heard. See, that would be a deterrent, though, to keep you from getting in the fridge at night to get snacks if you had to undo that whole thing. But as you see, massive storage area there. Big deep freeze. Or not deep freeze. Freezer. What's behind door number two? We have a dry pantry. Or, if you were a cool kid in the 90s, this thing would have been full of VH VHS tapes. Lost its humor when I uh, fumbled over my wording. You've got a four burner stove. Uh, so you've got basically residential sized stove. You can cook your cookies in here. You can bake your turkeys in there. Residential sized microwave. Tons of room. Massive kitchen island. Massive kitchen island with i love these seats here so you can sit there look out at your beautiful views have breakfast lunch dinner whatever nice deep stainless steel sink with detachable sprayer and again look at all these windows 
Again, all blackout shades. So it is a lot of windows, which makes it seem like you don't have a lot of privacy, but you can close all those, get privacy. And you even have these lovely curtains to come in front of your sliding glass doors and that big window up there. Living room features L-shaped sectional. We've got to check it out, see how comfortable it is. That's gonna be directly across from your TV. That is a telescopic TV. So it's in the down position right now, but you just press a button, roll that bad boy up and watch TV in here. Fireplace, absolutely love my fireplaces in my campers. They are amazing. We'll definitely take the chill out of this big open area right here. And you're using the campgrounds electric, not your propane. You have your JBL Bluetooth stereo right there that will work with your inside and outside speakers. Lovely tall roof, ceiling, not roof. Roof's on the other side. Uh, ceiling fan, another AC unit there, so you're gonna stay nice and cool in here. Let's go check out this other bunk. A little bit wider steps on this one. Not as cool looking, but wider. You have another bunk over here, and you have plug-ins up here. You have storage up here, and another AC up here. So again, the whole camper's gonna stay cool. But you definitely have got the ability to stay really cool in your loft area. What's behind door number two? Holy crap. Look at this bathroom. Massive, massive bathroom. Sit down shower, huge plus. Love my sit down showers. Why am I yelling? Sorry. Toilet, dual sinks. Look at this sink space. Somebody brush their teeth over here. Somebody wash their hands over here. You've got your own separate mirrors. You've got your shared medicine cabinet. You've got storage down below. And, and you have a closet here that's washer dryer prepped. So you can do all your washing and drying. Not that you want to do a bunch of chores, but if you've got something like this and you're staying at the campground for extended times, maybe you're staying at the campground for the entire summer, it's definitely beneficial to have that washer dryer capability. Price wise, as I said, this is a 2024 retreat 39 CLDL. So that stands for cool looking, definitely like. <laughs> $569 a month, you're looking at a sale price of $69,995, a retail price of $91,179. I guess we should take a look at the outside, at least like the back. So, yep, there's the back. Nothing really to report. Outside shower, city water connection. Do we have anything fancy schmancy on this side? We've got our water heater. It looks like we have some outside storage up there at the front. Uh, we might as well just walk up there and look and adventure together. We got a smaller retreat in too. Maybe I'll do a video of that one tomorrow. I don't even know what size it is, but somebody told me that we've got a small, really cool, almost like tiny house uh, retreat in. So I will go and do a video of that tomorrow. So yeah, you have some outside storage here on this slide that'll be under that master bed. Massive storage, plenty of space. So there you have it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, you wanna know more information or you definitely wanna see that smaller retreat, leave me a comment down below. I'll be happy to go shoot it for you.